Hi guys. Um, sorry, not being around. Um, I know I always start with that, but it's just been really hectic um, with some other videos I'm helping someone else with. And very soon we will be collaborating a bit. So I've been speaking to the guys who do something called Internet Rabbit Hole Daily and um, they're based out in Canada, um, Sean and Alyssa. And hopefully we'll be doing something together pretty soon. Um, but yeah, I've, I've just been looking at stuff for that and another two or three collaborations I'm going to be doing soon. Um, exciting times ahead. Okay, um, anyway, so I've been asked to do a reaction by Book Collector. A couple of times, actually. So um, Al has is very kindly asked me to do Catch a Rising Star by John Gray in the past, which I did, which I thought was phenomenal. But he's asked me to do Once Upon a Time by John Gray, and that's what I'm going to do next. Right, okay. Um, so... John Gary sings Once Upon a Time. I'm excited about this. Not John Gray, as I previously said, but John Gary. Um, so I am going to go straight into this. Um, prior to doing so, please um, do subscribe. Um, you know, hit like, hit dislike. Uh, give me your feedback and tell me which other songs I should listen to. Okay, here we go. Um, so which one do I do? There's quite a few here. Um, there's one which looks like a fan video. I am going to do that one. And the reason is because you guys got something to look at other than me. Otherwise, it is just an album cover. And I'm sure the song is the same. So let's go straight into that. Um, it says John Gary with appropriate pictures. So I imagine it will be a pleasure to watch. So let's go in and see what this song's about. Once upon a time, a girl with moonlight in her eyes, put her hand in mine and said she loved me so. But that was once upon a time Very long ago Once upon a hill We sat beneath a willow tree Counting all the stars and waiting for the dawn. But that was once upon a time. Now the tree is gone. How the breeze ruffled through her hair How we always laughed as though tomorrow wasn't there We were young and didn't have a care Where did it go? Upon a time, the world was sweeter than we knew. Everything was ours. How happy we were then. But somehow, once upon a time,
Gen genuinely, thank you for sending that, not sending it, but suggesting that video. Um, just bear with me, sorry, I've just got to just write back to 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 you. I'll, um, I'll write the rest of it later, but I do want to just remind myself of saying thank you. One second. Um, I, I'm going to say something that probably will make no sense to a lot of people. Um, it probably sounds like complete rubbish and I didn't, I totally understand why because I probably won't be able to explain. I've all often tried to explain this to people and, and I can't explain it because the words just do not come to me. But I'm going to try. Um, okay, so here goes. There's something really haunting daunting or haunting about this music for me is something really really nostalgic and spiritual and this is where I really fell with words it's something really powerful to hear this sound and this type of sound and what it, re it reminds me of something that I can't really put get my head around it when I listen I listen to a lot of music from the 20s 30s 40s 50s and obviously 60s 70s 80s not much after that, a little bit every now and then. Uh, the older, the better. And I've always had a really strong attachment to very old music. And this, the bit I don't understand is that this attachment is beyond what, beyond what I remember. I was born in 79, but I feel really comforted by music much older than that. Now, somebody said to me, it's a golden era delusion which means I'm in love with a time that um, I'm, I'm, I have not been a part of because I have insecurities about today. And it's not that, um, I think that's just complete gibberish, but they might be right. But there is something really powerful and touching when I listen to something so old. Um, and in my mind, it's almost like, this is how I try try to describe it or this is how it plays in my mind it's like an old real film reel you know now you can take everything like with this phone 4d 4hd and everything's beautiful and crystal clear a lot of times people put um filters on their pictures and i guess uh, one of the reasons for that is so it has this old nostalgic feel to it and a lot of people do that intentionally there was a time when you didn't have to do that because that was the peak of technology and in my head, when I listen to this stuff, I play them really old reels back. Like really old, really, really, really old reels in my head of life and what it was like, even though I wasn't alive. And I really get attached to that. See, this is what I mean, I can't explain it, but can you guys help me out? If anyone else kind of gets what I'm saying, please tell me what I'm trying to say. Um, because I've not been able to explain it, but there's some attachment to an era before I was born that I have. So I've often thought, is it even a past life or something like that? Um, when I listen to some really old singers, even like Judy Garland, I, it reminds me of my mother. Maybe there's an attachment there because my mother's not with me anymore. Maybe there's something in that. It reminds me of my mother and what she would have listened to when she was growing up. But... That's why in my car, you jump in my car and you listen, if I put the radio on, it's never BBC Radio 1 or 2 or even 3, it's, it's really a golden, olden songs. Golden, olden? Gold, gold, old, gold is old, old gold, old gold. That's what I meant to say. Music um, from this era and it moves me. Um, so anyway, that aside, right, okay. Um, I am going to rate it because because how how powerful it is for me to listen to this music. And when I put this on in my car, like usually where that's the only time other than in my house where I play music where other people will listen to it. So normally I've got headphones on. Um, people look at me and they say, what are you listening to? And I feel so, I don't mean this in a childish way, but I feel so alone then in my thoughts because I think I can't explain why I'm listening to this to you but at the same time it will never mean anything to anyone other than what it means to me it's a very personal thing 
and it's so powerful and moving. There you go. There's three minutes of absolute gibberish. Um, I've spoken to you about something that probably makes no sense and I apologize for that. Um, but this song, my rating, 100%. 10 out of 10. Thank you very much.